God encompasses so many different characteristics. God is just. He's forgiving, omnipotent, gracious, everlasting, merciful, perfect, king, good, wise, faithful, eternal, everywhere, omnipresent, almighty, supreme, all in all, all knowing, trustworthy, love, sovereign. But what I'm going to talk about is how God is omniscient. The definition of omniscience is all knowing, which means God possesses perfect knowledge and therefore has no need to learn. God has never learned and cannot learn. When I think of omniscience, I think of how the number pi goes on infinitely, and God knows every number in pi. We can't even fathom a number that goes on forever, so we just round to the nearest two decimal places. God knows all things because he made them, not because those things acted upon him. For example, when we were children, we didn't know that the stove was hot until we touched it and burned ourselves. We don't know that an apple is red until we see the apple and process the color. God, on the other hand, made the apple and knew every detail about the apple before it existed. Matthew 10.30 says that the very hairs of your head are all numbered. While 10% of your hair is in the growing and shedding stage at all times, which means God knows whether you have 100,062 hairs at the moment or 100,061 before that hair even sheds. You lose around 100 strands a day, and God knows exactly how many you have lost so far today and how many you'll lose in the next week, month, year, or in your lifetime. Also, he didn't need to count the hairs on your head. He just knew. God knows everything you do, say, think, before you even do it. You can't trick God. I remember when I was a kid, I used to try to trick God with my thoughts. Like, I'm going to clap right now. And then be like, haha, God didn't clap. I got you. But God knew my thought of wanting to trick him. It's hard to comprehend, which is why I find such interest in this characteristic of God. Psalms 139, 1 through 4 says, O Lord, you have searched me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. God knows your thoughts, actions, words, and even your motives. First Chronicles 28, 9 says, The Lord searches every heart and understands every motive behind the thoughts. So I hope that this video helped to illuminate what omniscience is and God's omniscience uh, specifically. And I hope that this video helped to capture your imagination and help you understand just how amazing and unbelievable God's omniscience is. And I don't think we're supposed to be able to understand God's omniscience completely. I think it's it's a part of the faith where you just kind of have to have faith that uh, God knows everything and we don't. And it's also quite comforting, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I had lots of fun in your class, Dr. Vermilia, so thank you.